Happy birthday. Thank you. Round. First of all, there's the question of the definition of life. And that in its itself is very hard. I define it as life is an organizing force that opposes entropy systematically. Entropy, I take for given in an MIT audience, but en entropy is that everything decays to a less organized state. Things rot, fall apart, fall down, get cooler if they were warm, and life works against that tide, that river. It's an eddy current in that river of decay, importantly, systematically in patterns. But when you ask the question, what is the meaning of life, I think, well, since I'm the kind of person who would have such a precise definition, I'm very annoyed because it makes no grammatical sense. <laughs> what do you mean, what is the meaning of life? Um, what I gave first was an allocentric definition, outside of person, outside of uh, ego and entity. If that is a thing, it doesn't have meaning. Meaning is a human word and a human defined concept. That's not to disparage it, we are humans. We defined that word, we gave a meaning to the word meaning. But when you actually try to ask that question, it narrows it down to it has to be something human, because otherwise we couldn't possibly grasp it. And presumably, it's something about what is my reason for existing? What would motivate me? Or why should I get up tomorrow? Or the instant before I died, what would prove that what I did had this thing called meaning? And so therefore, as best I can tell from the bad grammar of this sentence that's used all the time, it's not Manolis, um, is that what we're really asking for is like, how can I know I actually mattered, was useful in any way? And if it's that kind of a question, that's why I get to the answer that many have given, which is love. What I mean by love, though, first of all, is an essentially one-way act of doing for an other or others that which is, on balance, much more beneficial to them than self after having embraced all the emotions and motivations that are self. So it's a way of saying love yourself first before other. And that writ large in a society will always favor the net fitness of the group over any one individual. And if done well, favors all individuals. Because any one person is only one out of now seven billion. So if you, in aggregate, each one acts towards the group, the group net benefits. So that addresses both morality and love. And if we were to define one thing that is a useful purpose for any one person to have, it would be that which maximizes the fitness of the group, and therefore, love. Woo! Wow.